I don't need to tell you what an iceberg is in this context. If you clicked on the video, you've probably already watched several others. So you might be asking, what do I have? You know, what makes me special? Well, as far as I can find, there are only two other JoJo icebergs at the recording of this video. And one of them isn't even in English. Plus, I don't need an excuse to make a video. It's my video. I can do whatever I want. I can deep fry it. This is an iceberg created by me, so I'm aware of everything on it. So we're not going to have these little moments where I waste your time by saying I don't know what it means. You will walk out of this video with a better understanding of JoJo, is basically what I'm saying. Also a note, uh, there's some things I realized in the writing of the script that aren't actually on the iceberg image itself. So if you ever notice, looking at the iceberg, as something appears in the video not in the iceberg, that's why. Araki is immortal. This is pretty simple. See, Araki, the creator of JoJo, has an age of about 30 to 40 years. Possibly a vampire, or maybe something else. We might never know. Araki forgot. This is an inside joke of the community poking fun at how Araki's forgetful nature. Most Araki forgots were intended as memes, but some people genuinely believe them to be a mistake in Araki's writing. Later that, I'll bring up the specific cases of Araki forgots. This is referring to the meme part of it, though. Jotaro's Dolphinphilia. This refers to the joke that the fact that Jotaro, the third protagonist of the series, loved dolphins more than his own daughter, since he was mostly an absent father to focus on his work and stay away from them. As us intellectuals know, however, he was actually away with his dolphin lover. Speedwagon Best Girl. This is referring to the common liking of the character Speedwagon. Not much else to say. Jojo Color Schemes. This is talking about how in Jojo, there are no canonical color schemes. And all the color schemes in media are just pulled from color cover arts colored by Iraqi, or maybe other sources. Jotaro's hat. So you see Jotaro's hat and how it's kinda... melds with his hair? In canon, this is because the back of his hat is broken off, but somehow still sticks to his head. So his hair is sticking out the back. But the real question is, why does Jotaro constantly break the back of every hat he wears? Milf Hunter Kakyoin. This is a simple joke about the odd speech Kakyoin does after thinking about Jotaro's mom. And how great she is, and the kind of woman he'd like to marry. Thus, making Kakyoin a milf hunter. It just works, slash Duang. Both are fandom memes created from bad translations. Araki hates dogs. I have no idea what this could be referring to. Look at all the happy dogs in JoJo. Now, all of that was fun and all, but most of them were just jokes. Let's look deeper into the iceberg to see if we can find some more factual and interesting stuff. Jonathan and Young Joseph Birthmarks. This is talking about how in the manga for parts 1 and 2, the Joestar birthmark isn't visible in the JoJo's. This is simply because Rocky just didn't conceptualize the birthmark until part 3, so he didn't really care to draw what he didn't think. Swole Josuke. In the early art for part 4, Josuke was drawn to be much bigger than he is towards the end. The Passion. This is talking about Jonathan's stand, which manifests after he's dead, since his physical body has been kept alive by Dio's vampiric blood. The name originates from the canon light novel George Joestar. OVA Koichi. In the first two parts of the Rohan OVA, Koichi can be seen looking very... interesting. The later two changed his designs due to the backlash, backlash, but interesting enough, comparing the two designs to the modern Koichi does actually show the first design is more accurate. I guess Koichi just didn't translate too well to the new style. Jotaro's PTSD. After the events of Part 3, Jotaro was left with a long-lasting PTSD of the situation. This can be seen when knives are thrown at Jolie in the climax of Part 6, and he panics. Onosui's sex change. Early on, Onosui was introduced as female, but upon being relevant to the story, they became male and were written off as a very feminine-looking male. The meta-explanation of this is that the jump staff told Araki that another female character, along with a gay romantic subplot, would hurt the sales of Jojo, and thusly, Onosui became male. Some have also brought forward the idea that Onosui was always intended to be a very feminine looking man, but the early appearances leaned into it a bit too much. Personally, I believe the first explanation is more likely. Young Joseph has Hermit Purple. This is a commonly held theory that Joseph, during the events of Part 2, secretly had unlocked his stand, Hermit Purple, and was subconsciously using it to predict his enemies' actions and words. I could go on about how this is false and Hermit Purple doesn't actually predict the future and has never done so. But that's better saved for another video if I really feel like it. Weird Al is canon. This is another one that's pretty simple. When Joseph wakes up from being quote unquote dead, one of his first questions Joseph asks him is about Weird Al, confirming that he has existed within the universe. Which brings up weird implications for anyone with a stand named after a Michael Jackson song. 
Heaven's Door is OP. This is simple. It's talking about how when you break it down, Heaven's Door is one of the strongest stands in the series. Turns out a stand that can essentially mind control people is pretty handy. Time stop is a placebo. There's a theory that Star Platinum and the world don't actually stop time, but instead merely move fast enough to where they perceive as if time had been stopped. No, but this theory is incredibly stupid, because it doesn't take into account the fact that when Dio throws knives, they stop when leaving his hand. If they were truly going so fast, the knives would just rocket through Jotaro and probably the buildings behind him as well. Jonathan is Star Platinum. Jonathan said that if he were to die, he'd haunt Dio, but then Star Platinum exists and has some vague design similarities to Jonathan, despite the fact that those design details are either common as art or related to the color schemes, which aren't canon. Fugo was supposed to betray the gang. When Fugo decides to not go trade at the end of the King Crimson arc, he was planning to come back later with another stand used to kill the gang. This was a scrapped idea due to Araki being attached to the Passione gang, combined with his depressive state at the time. Notes of the story were cannibalized into the Golden Heart Golden Ring light novel, though. Can you believe that we're this far in and we're only now getting our feet wet? Because we're entering shallow waters. Christ, it's gonna be a long video to edit. Jordo is in Florida. In part 6, there's a note that offhandedly mentions that Jordo could be in Florida as a result of Poochie getting the Joestar birthmark. Probably hang out in like Disney World or something. Clamp in Wonderland. A dojin about Jordo and Kakyoin having a kid through, yes, an egg. It's a lovely read. I truly recommend it. Josefumi is a Joestar. This simply comes from a drawing where Josefumi is shown to have the Joestar birthmark. It's never seen again, and it's also never really commented on. It's been left to assume that Josefumi is a semi-distant relative of the Kiras or the Higashikatas. Part 5 Naming Conventions Characters of Part 5 are named after Italian dishes. Risotto means rice, Mista goes to salad, and prosciutto is, well, prosciutto. Johnny's Fetish during the later half of Steel Ball Run, Johnny reveals to Joe that he is a fetish for bug bites, which explains why he married a woman from Morio, a town with a good amount of bees. Bite Marks Unresolved During the beginning of Jojolian chapters, we are shown that people can get stands through a mysterious bite. It hasn't been brought up or really talked about since in those early chapters, although some hold strong that it will eventually be brought up again. Shizuka's parents are Kira victims. Shizuka is an unclaimed baby in a town where there's a serial killer who targets women. Shizuka also being a stand user means Kira would be naturally drawn to her, and her being invisible can explain why she would be the sole survivor of a killer who's never been caught. Dopio is the original personality. This topic has gone to more extent in Medi's video, but to summarize, the way Dopio's souls act in the Chariot Requiem fight, along with other details, paints a picture of Dopio being the real original personality and Diablo being manifested to deal with the trauma of finding his mother. Sea Moon is weak. Think about it. When falling as a result of Sea Moon's unique gravity effect, would it result in what when you leave the effective range? Would you just skid across the floor? Would you suddenly change trajectory? And if so, would the energy from you falling remain or not? Jesus has a stand. In part 7, we see Jesus and the corpse be able to grant the stand Ticket to Ride to Lucy, which has commonly been mispainted as her stand. Thusly meaning, Ticket to Ride is Jesus' stand. Boingo predicted 9-11. During Boingo's first prediction of the manga artist's death, the image shows a plane in the background and his shirt reads 9-11. Rocky has since said it was just an unfortunate coincidence. Better. But I know y'all are itching for something more deep and interesting stuff. Don't worry, I think we're about there. Giorno isn't Italian. Simple. Giorno's fathers are both British-English, and his mother is an Italian. Their family moved to Italy, and Giorno was raised Italian, but isn't genetically Italian. Johnny's corpse at the Higashikata Shrine. This plays into the commonly held theory that the Johnny Joestar's corpse is considered a saint, and has the equivalent exchange abilities, and is the reason for the walleyes. With the recent info of the walleyes basically being Morio's devil palms, this series seems to be strengthened. Proto Demo. During the early seconds of Jojolian, Gappy has a flashback to a mysterious man. While Gappy not only never having flashbacks, flashbacks like this again, but the man is never seen. It's commonly believed that this is a prototype designed for Demo, the later antagonist revealed to be relevant to Gappy Gap Gap Gappy's past. 
Jojo Lion. Araki is a total hack. Jojo Lion it has a lion in the name, but we've never seen a lion in the whole part. Dopio's frog is related to Zeppeli's frog. So you know the frog William punches? Well, Dopio had an interaction with the frog too. Theory goes that the frogs are related. Rock disease is a rock human's common cold. It's pretty self-explanatory. The joke goes that the disease that's plaguing the Higashikata family for generations is a mere common cold to the rock humans. Big Rat Certain localized versions of Death 13's arc feature the dog that dies being changed to a rat, but the rat is the size of a dog. Thusly, Big Rat. Alternate Sandman the, th the theory goes that when the Silent Way arc begins, Valentine swaps out Sandman with Soundman. While this explains the character change in personality, I don't perfectly believe this. The big evidence is at the beginning Sandman's local tribe call him Sandman instead of Soundman, but this is the result of a mistranslation. Soft and Wet's design change. Here's a picture of Soft and Wet when they were first shown, and here's a more recent panel. Yeah, Soft and Wet's design just kinda changed. It's nowhere near uncommon for characters' designs to change, but rarely do major stand designs change in such a noticeable way. Also, the first panel shown has a much different pelvis than Soft Wet to be shown just a few panels later. Fun fact, but most Soft Wet merch features the older design as because the merch was either designed the second after he was shown the cash on the new part, or because the best possible reference you could find of them is in the old design. Poochie's Race this refers to a long-running debate over Poochie's race. He's drawn with dark skin, yet a KKK member never seems to care for it. The common explanation is either A, Iraqi forgot how the KKK works, B, Poochie's actually an olive-skinned Italian and not an African-American, which I personally subscribe to, but I have a hard time believing that Iraqi would just write the KKK without knowing the simple base knowledge about it. Part 6 Naming Conventions So for character in Part 6 are named after fashion brands. Pretty simple. Waldo in Part 3 Senator Phillips ran over Waldo in Egypt, all because a vampire told him to. Johnny slash Jonathan Eyes of Heaven plot hole According to Steel Ball Run, anybody who touches themselves from a different universe will collide with them and cause both versions to be destroyed. So how come Johnny and Jonathan are able to interact during the Eyes of Heaven story? The simple answer is, Johnny and Jonathan aren't literal alternate universe counterparts. Instead, they're literary counterparts of each other. To summarize, they're counterparts in the story sense, but not in a literal multiversal sense. Echo's Act 2 can stop time. So you know the time stop effect in the anime? What if Echo's Act 2 were to put down that signed effect? Would time stop? Probably not, but it's a fun idea. Johnny's missing birthmark. All throughout Steel Ball Run, Johnny's birthmark isn't mentioned once or shown. But we know it's there because Gappy has a birthmark and Johnny is a Joe Star. There's no reason for him not to have it. I wouldn't be surprised if this was another example of, for of Araki forgetting about the birthmark because it isn't relevant to anything within Steel Ball Run. SCP-1504 1504 is a man who is 1.95 meters tall with a birthmark on his right shoulder who is unable to be harmed. You make your judgments on that. Gappy is Elvis. A theory states that Gappy takes inspiration from Elvis and towards the end of the part, Soft and Wet will evolve into a stand with an Elvis song for a name. There's a much more in-depth video made by Anon Star for around 20 minutes of the video on screen, so watch it if you care to learn more about the theory. Part 8, King Crimson. Same creator, different video. And in Star constructed the theory previous to his Elvis theory, stating that Soft and Wet would evolve into King Crimson to keep up with the naming conventions of the Higashikata family. I think it's unlikely, but hey, Kyo, Ki, is referent to the story again, so who knows where Jojolian could go? Horse Jotaro. I'm going to show this image, and you will instantly know all you need to know. Tenmi Kakyoin. Kakyoin was supposed to be given the name Temni, but it was misreaded and printed as Noriaki. You could see this when Kakyoin cited his name as Temni in Enya's guest book. Mamma Mia 2 Jotaro. There he is. An ad for Jojo in Mamma Mia 2. There's nothing else to this. Dopio's Infinite Blood. How much blood does Dopio need to keep conscious during the Metallica fight? 
He takes a lot of wounds that cause a lot of bleeding, yet still always has more to gush out. Boingo art style is in the universe anime. Simple. What if anime in the JoJo universe being in the Oingo Boingo style? Yeah, probably. Crazy Diamond reverses time slash fate. Some people have gone to question how Crazy Diamond's restoration ability works. A common idea thrown around is that Crazy Diamond rewinds time or fate of the object so it goes back to where it was. This can easily be disproven by the fact that we don't see wounds happen in reverse and he can't cure il illnesses. But it was a fun thought. Fugo Thongs Fugo has holes in his clothes, but we can't see his underwear. It's easy to assume if he's wearing underwear, they'd have to be thongs. Rocky also apparently confirmed this in the interview, but I can't read it, and the only proof I could find is this interview in a page it's supposedly on, but I can't read Japanese, so I can't confirm. Bites the Dust Universal Jump This is a theory that states that Bites the Dust doesn't just reverse time, but hops the person Bites the Dust is placed on into a parallel universe slash timeline. Neat theory, but I don't buy it. Kira's Backstory There was an intended backstory for Kira that still can, but yet unexplored in the manga. Kira's mother was very abusive, and his father never said or did anything about it, which explains his protectiveness over his son. As it's regret for not protecting him earlier in his life from his mother. Araki said that he always intended for this backstory, and considers it to be canon. Ride right Along the Lightning Right Along the Lightning is the name given to the stand of one of the exhibitioners who died as a result of coming in contact with the meteorite that was used to make the stand arrows. Before then they die, a bolt of lightning comes out of their finger, thus the name Right Along the Lightning. Araki is homophobic. False. Rumor run around that Araki didn't really like the gays. This was denied by Araki himself. Jojo Morio Differences in Jojolian, Morio has some slight differences than Morio in Part 4. Aside from taking place 10 years apart, the logo is different and Morio appears to be more of like a city than a small town in Jojolian. Made in Heaven based on Mayan Doomsday Prediction I couldn't find much in this, but allegedly Made in Heaven is based on the prediction that the world would end in December 2012 on the 21st, saying that once the day comes, its inhabitants would do, do a positive physical or spiritual re-transformation. While it's certainly possible, I don't think a rocket took inspiration. I feel like he would have done more or something close to the transformation stuff given his love for body horror. Dio is bi. Yeah, Dio is bi. Araki said in an interview that he's comfortable with both male and female partners. Interesting trivia, but I'm surprised it's not a more well widespread fact. Anime slash colored manga color schemes choice reasoning. This one's a whole topic of its own and I could make a video out of, but from a basic idea, the colored manga usually takes from volume covers and any other surrounding artwork from the time of the part's creation. But it will make up some of its own sometimes. The anime is a lot more complex with how it picks its colors. For starters, it seems to be playing different with every character designer, with the basic idea that they'll be referring to the SAS figure, playing cards, or whatever Rocky chooses. Gappy's Distance Obsession. I haven't seen anyone talk about this and it drives me crazy. So it's normal for Jojo characters to have a good grasp on distance and their distance from around them from other things, but it's usually in meters. But in the beginning of Jojo, Gappy, Gappy not only has a grasp on it, but has a good grasp because he's able to know where things are down to the centimeter. And not just the distance from himself, but distance from his bubbles. I could imagine this was a planned quirk for Gappy that Iraqi forgot and eventually just phased out of his character. Cool stuff, right? Well, now we're going into a layer where only the most far gone swim. Ah. Thus spoke Rohan Kashibe is written by Genji Ito. From what I could tell, this is a rumor or a joke about how the Rohan side stories can feel more horror focused, so thusly might be ghost written by Genji Ito. The world, Star Platinum. The Hidden Stand. Nobody knows where it is or what it looks like. If you have a single picture of this elusive stand, show me immediately. Modern Day Zeppelis. I'm not talking about how in the Steel Ball Run universe the Zeppelis are still alive. I mean in the original universe. Caesar had like four other brothers and sisters. It's likely that they would have grown up and had kids of their own, given how family oriented their brother became. So I wonder what they're doing while the world is ending. One stand per user bullshit. 
Dio can use the world and the passion at the same time. Rohan can use Heaven's Door while also being the user of the cheap trick. Emporio can use both weather report while still having burning down the house. There are more examples we can get into, but the point is clear. People are capable of having more than one stand, but it's usually by unnatural means of which they gain multiple stands. All Joestars are equally buff. Okay, hear me out on this one. Jorno and Josuke are drawn to be similar in how buff they are in an artwork from early part 5. Josuke looks just as buff as Jotaro and kind of comparable in the later half too. Jotaro looked just as buff as Dio when they met and Dio had the body of Jonathan below the neck, meaning Jorno is like a brick wall in the same way Jonathan Joestar was. Morio Intense Stand Energy Throughout part 3, it seems to be shown that stands can have a certain energy to them. The theory goes that the reason for stuff like Greek and Mountain Gods showing up in Morio may be because of the density of stand use and thus leads a large amount of stand energy. More likely, it might be the other way around, where the reason why there's a bunch of stand users there is because of the occurrence of Mountain and Greek Gods. Real Reason Phantom Blood Movie is Lost while the true reason it hasn't been confirmed, we know it's probably not because Araki willed it away. The movie was in theaters for a week, and I doubt a lot Araki let it run for a week if he hated it so much. That would make him ban it from ever being shown again. It's also just silly to think that Araki could just will away a movie, or even would do so. I've seen rumors thrown around that perhaps something illegal was in the movie, and they had to get away with it, so they refused to sell it in fear of it being discovered. Green Day fight was supposed to be Trader Fugo's fight. The Green Day fight surrounds around a killer virus stand working with another stand user, an idea that we saw in Golden Heart Golden Ring, which is a reworking of Araki's original Trader Fugo fight. A lot of events and aspects could make sense if Fugo was swapped in. The virus aspects of their stand is shown to also be shared with Purple Haze's virus, as it's shown as the corpses of its victims are still viral. It makes sense that Jorna would give the traitorous Fugo, Fugo the Seven Page Muda, as a Rocky to replace it would make a character so scummy to deserve such a punishment. Its placement behind the final fight could make sense, as it would be thematic to fight a former ally now turned on us before our final hardships. Jojo's Colored Adventure is a pedo ring. This is the only entry on this I don't know anything about. I did some searches and couldn't find anything. But due to the nature of this accusation, I kept it here just in case there's any truth to it. And that's my iceberg. I tried to make it as densely packed as possible. This script is already easily more than twice or three times the size of my usual scripts. So I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day. Goodbye.